Yay, yay! What's up, Raider Nation? Coming to you from San Francisco, California. It's a very rainy and cold day. I'm here waiting to uh, get uh, lo unloaded from uh, the consignee. Anyways, uh, well, it's obvious we did not advance in the playoffs. Oh, well. Well, we had a good season. 12 and 4, obviously. Actually, now 12 and 5 with the playoff loss, but. Oh, well. It was a good season. Magical season. Uh, we can only use this season as a springboard into next season. Next season, stand by Raider Nation. Not just Raider Nation, but stand by uh, the NFL because we are going to wreak some havoc next year. And I am looking forward to that. 12 and 4. A lot of us thought they would go, they'd go at least 10 wins at the most and maybe make the playoffs. But, hey, 12 and 4, you know, would have, could have, should have. But, you know, the game, we ended up losing 27 to 14. I was proud of the way they played, even though... They obviously, there was times where they played bad, but there was moments in the game where I would notice the, like the offensive line, you can see the passion. You can see their will. You can see they, they were putting it all on the line. You can tell like they really wanted to win that game so bad, but unfortunately the game was it was just stacked up against us, you know, to begin with. I mean, we lost our head, you know, in the body, which was Derek Carr, you know. And Connor Cook, a lot of people might disagree with me on this, but I thought he played okay. Yeah, he, he, he screwed up at the end, you know, but I thought he played great. That one drive that we had good in the whole game... <clears throat> They were running a no huddle, uh, check with me type offense, and I was I was impressed. I was like, wow! The one, when we started running it down their throats, and I said to myself, yeah, yeah, we're in it. We're not out of this game yet. But that was just short lived, and we ended up the defense as well. They you can tell the whole team was just playing with heart. With emotion, big. Em I haven't seen that kind of emotion in a long time. You know, it was bittersweet. We lost. Keep being a dead horse, but hey, you know. Oh well, time to move on. Uh, I've already read up that Matt McGloin is wanting to leave the Raiders. Well, Matt McGloin, if you want to leave, you know, I'll tell you what. You're not going to get Brock Osweiler type money. Hell, I don't even... <laughs> I don't know. I just don't see... You might you might have some stupid team out there that might pick you up and probably give you about $3, 4000000 million a year, which would be a big pay raise over your 900000 a year. But you had your chance, man. You had your chance. We all, tr we all believed in you. And it just... We, you had your chance. Hopefully, like I said, you know, I wish you the best. But you don't want to be our on our team. Well, all I can say is Matt McGloin is get the fuck out of here then if you don't want to be with us then. <laughs> um, bandwagons. Oh, my God. I don't want to talk about this. This is the last time I'm going to talk about this. On social media, on Facebook, people been uh, screenshotting a lot of photos of people 
with their comments in regards to um uh yeah you know the Raiders they lost they're so bad I'm done with them and this and that well all you bandwagons I said it once and I'll say it again get the fuck out of here fucking bandwagons yeah next year when we start winning yeah y'all we going to come back on again but God, I'm not going to talk about that no more. I, I I get so pissed thinking about bandwagons. They're not true fans. They haven't... A true fan is a fan that stuck with the Raiders during the Dark Ages. What's the Dark Ages? I label the Dark Ages as after 03 Super Bowl until I would say probably 2015. If you stuck with the Raiders during that time, you're a true fan. Um, Ken Norton. Oh my God! I, I'm a Ken Norton supporter, but I'm just so. I was rooting for him so much to be a great defensive coordinator, but unfortunately, it just did not work. Whether it's the scheme, his scheme, you know, our players, whatever it is, he just. I'm speechless. I really wanted him to do good, and it just, it, it, Ken Norton, I wish you the best. Um, there's a lot of rumors out there that Wade Phillips, that we're probably, it's in between us and the Redskins. I hope, you know, Mark Davis and McKenzie can, you know, reel him in and convince him to come to us. If he does, I really see, you know, our defense improving leaps and bounds. I'm not gonna say we're gonna be a top five defense. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't have the personnel yet. We're getting there. You know, we have the anchor in in Cleo Mack, and you know maybe Bruce Irvin as well. But we're if we can be a top fifteen defense next year with our offense. Oh Lord, I stand by to stand by. You know that's all I can say. Um, some of the things, some of the posts that I've been reading on Facebook, it kind of drives me nuts. And I think it's a lot of these new generation type uh, Raider fans that don't know. First of all, I'm going to say a lot of them commenting are like, yeah, we should we should uh, make Ken Norn the linebackers coach and then and then make uh, Wade Phillips our defensive coach. I say to those comments, are you guys smoking crack? Really? You all think that Ken Norn is going to demote himself from defensive coordinator to a linebacker coach come on man yes man you you guys are smoking crack some of y'all raider fans out there that think that that's not there's no way in hell that's gonna happen norn is leaving he's gonna be relieved of his duties and whoever we pick up as defensive coordinator i hope it's a good one but we'll see another one that i saw on social media on facebook because like i said i'm on facebook a lot is comment on the offensive side. I had one guy, I saw one guy, he commented, he said, yeah, we should um, we should bring in John Gruden as a head coach and Norv Turner as the offensive coordinator. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my, I'm telling you, man, some of these new age Raider Nation fans, they just don't know. I love Gruden. But it still stings me that 03 Super Bowl, it really does. And I don't know why some fans can like John Gruden. You know? He was our he was our moral enemy for that one Super Bowl, you know? And the way he did us, nah. I, I say, you know what, John Gruden, fuck John Gruden. That's what I say. I say fuck John Gruden. And Norv Turner, offensive coordinator? <laughs> Really? <laughs> I'm not going to mention, I'm not going to say nothing else about Norv Turner. If you're a true Raider fan during the Dark Ages, you know what Norv Turner was all about. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste my breath on that guy. Uh, let's just uh, look forward to this year coming up. Um... It, we have some free agents that are going to be leaving this team. Uh, a couple of them that I think, Latavius Murray, 
I'm wishy-washy with that dude. I really am. I li I love him. I really do. I know he's Derek Carr's best friend, but I don't think he's going to come back. He's a good blocker, but I just don't know. I don't see him coming back. Um, what else? What else? Donald Penn, he was out for that game. It really it, it, it hurt me. That, that I think right there was the reason why we lost that game or we could have been more competitive was, oh, yeah, let me talk about the offensive line in that playoff game. Our two uh, off uh, left and right tackles. Left tackle, uh, since Donald Penn got out, left tackle was, um, oh, my God, I'm having a brain fart right now. Um, Manolik Watson. That boy was on roller skates, and Jadavian Clowney had him for lunch. I was like, oh, my God. After that interception, that when, when Cook threw that uh, screen pass, I was like, yeah, this game's over. I, I, want, I kept faith. I thought, you know, a couple of defensive stands, you know, interception here and there, we might come back. But on the offensive side, I knew that, that right there, I knew we were done. I mean, because... You just going from playing the Denver Broncos, which is the number one secondary in the NFL, to go on paper playing on the following week the number one defense in the NFL, the Texans. It was just I don't I didn't think it's just too much for poor Connor Cook to to swallow to 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 just devour in his second game, which well, really was the second game, but I didn't I didn't. And on the right end, right tackle, you had uh, Austin Howard. Man, Austin Howard, what the hell? He also got beat up by, uh, what's that line, that dude from the Texans? Uh, uh, Marsalius, or I forgot his name, that guy. Man, God, I, <laughs> poor Cook didn't have a chance. I mean, it was just bad. Offensive line, the interior with Gabe Jackson, Osemele, and um, Ronnie Hudson, you can tell they were balling. They were, they were balling. They were, they were pushing freaking uh, uh, Wolfer around. Wolferk, Vince Wolferk. They were pushing him around. But uh, on the ends, it was just, it just, it was. We didn't have a chance. It's just sad. So uh, that being said. That will conclude my uh, Raider Nation uh, reviews. I have one more video I'll be coming up uh, this next week. Be talking about uh, their possible move to Las Vegas. What my thoughts on that are. Um, and then also the draft coming up. If any big news comes up during the off season, I will start talking about that. Um... I'll probably talk about other things here and there. Uh, but I will now be turning my attention, like I said in my last video, to the trucking side. There's a lot of trucking videos that I want to talk about. A lot of fun things. Uh, I had a couple incidents that happened to me. Uh, I will talk about that in videos. <laughs> but, um, but anyways, yeah. So I hope all you guys in Raider Nation will stick with me and watch my trucking videos. Uh, all you all people have sub subscribed. I appreciate it. You all watch my videos. I appreciate that as well. Um, I love you hear your comments. And I try to respond to each and every single one of y'all uh, questions or comments. Um, but other than that, you know, I will conclude it with that. And uh, it was a great magical season, Raider Nation. Uh... I'm proud of my team for what we did this year. I'm happy. And, you know, I'm looking forward to next year. Our future is bright. Remember this. I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to call it. Before Derek Carr's career is over, I'm calling it right now. We will win at least one Super Bowl. We will. I'm calling it right now. We're going to win one. If we win multiple, hey, 
But when all is said and done, we're, we got something very special, Raider Nation. We have something very, very special. Be proud of your team, our team, the Raiders, the, o the Oakland Raiders. Be proud of this team. Be proud of it. Proud of what? Of the unknown. Next year, Minneapolis, Minnesota. February 2018. We'll see. We'll see. Raider Nation, stay strong. Truckers, be safe. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Raider Nation. Raider Nation.